Hi, this is Danny Lewis, also known as Enzyme Black, and I'm a course developer and tutor here at Point Bank Online. And you're watching Production Analysis. So the flash mobs needing me big tune with a lot of djs at the moment this is on defected records and the key thing about this particular track is it's got that real throwback to the 90s vibe which is very popular at the moment the key elements are the bass line which is for me reminiscent of robin s show me love and the main focus of the video this week is the drums getting the texture the programming right and i've also got a little section where we're going to integrate the bass line and i'm going to show you the bass patch that i've created in operator to work out what's happening with the beats i've got the hats and clap in isolation here in an audio clip this is just one bar at the moment but i want to draw your attention to the waveform and the things that you can see it's actually quite easy to read this waveform we've got the closed hats here which are the shorter ones there is an open hat which is longer here and a denser sound there's a clap with multiple hits one after another. And you can see these closed hats again here, so quiet and slightly louder. Now the key thing here is the timing. The beats are swinging. So what is swing? Take a look at the grid over here. And also you see down the bottom right hand side, it says 16. So this is 16 subdivisions in the bar. This particular closed hat is slightly later. The swing is coming from that fact. So this is the even numbered 16th positions are playing later. You can see that over here as well. Now, what I've done is I've transcribed this rhythm into the actual programming. And this is on a 909 drum kit. This is the classic 90s house drum kit. I've got the sounds here programmed and you can see there are different colors. This is representing the different levels. So we've got different levels of velocity over here to replicate the programming over here with the quiet and slightly louder closed hats. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off the kick that I've programmed. Let's take a listen and I'll show you the whole concept of swing. We're gonna take it straight and we're gonna add the swing back. So this is with the swing, same concept as the original. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use Command plus U to quantize to straight 16s. This is gonna be a subtle difference. See if you can hear it. Gonna undo, watch the position of these even numbered 16s. So for example, this one here where the cursor is. Can you see it's moved later? We've got that nice bouncy swing when you take a listen to that. Let me bring the kick in for reference. Now the flash mob track, in fact, when the kick first comes in, has an extra kick here. So it sounds something like this. So if we wanted to replicate that precisely, we'd do that. But this little section here has been just to show you the programming, the velocities, low, and then some of these are higher. So we're replicating what's happening in the actual original audio. So for context, I've created a bass line using Operator. I've taken the original Flash Mob music and I've EQ'd the lows out and EQ'd the highs out so that I've got this. So that's just to cover that kind of mid bass texture. So here's the bass line. Let me show you the notes. The bass patch that I created, you can see here in Operator. This is the first oscillator here the second and the third. This is running in the FM algorithm here. So you can see here, it's an FM sound. If you wanna learn more about the FM stuff, we've got the sound design course in Ableton Live, which covers it in great detail. So the Ableton operator is the base here, three oscillators. And this is running through an EQ, just scooping out a little bit of muddiness here. And then a little bit of compression here over at the very end. So what I want to do to finish off the video is to focus on the additional texturing that's going on with the drums here so you can see what's really adding the kind of finishing touches here to what you're actually hearing. So you're going to solo the drums. Let's take a look at the clap. So the clap I've added some brightness here. So there's an EQ just lifting at 10k. This is running through a reverb. 
and then we've got a simple delay. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you, I'm going to select all of these, right click and group them together and I can bypass them all together. So here we go. Let me solo the clap. So that's before the processing. Afterwards. So it adds a real nice professional polished sheen to the sound. The hi-hats on the original, these had reverb, so this is running through a reverb here. I'll take this off. Together. So this is what's going on here, is that this is adding this kind of little extra dimension to the beats. And just to finish off what I wanna do, I wanna show you something that you might wanna consider doing. A lot of the old 90s tracks, they had this kind of rough, kind of nice extra texture to them. So this isn't in the Flash Mob tune. It's a really nice, polished, contemporary production. But I just want to show you just a little spin on this. If we go to the audio effects and we go to the saturator, which is one of my favorite live effects, and we crank up the drive here. Have a listen to the texture. So as we crank up the drive, you get this crunchy, heavy sound. You can, of course, overdo it. Let's listen to this on its own. Really heavy, crunchy, almost tape-driven kind of sound to it. So I hope you enjoyed that latest production analysis video. If you're interested in the track, check out www.defected.com. And also, of course, the Point Blank Online website if you're interested in learning more about this kind of subject. And after the break, we've got some information about the one-to-one -one feedback that we have at Point Blank Online with our students. At Point Blank Online, you've got two methods of interaction with your tutor. Firstly, you've got the weekly online masterclass, which is in real time. And then also we've got feedback on your assignments, and that's known as DVR. So the online masterclass is a one hour session you get with your tutor every week. You can ask questions about lesson content and get instant feedback and also demonstrations on the fly from their computer desktop with our streaming technology. DVR stands for Direct Video Response and the concept is really simple. You upload your Ableton Logic or Cubase project file to your tutor. He downloads it and then pushes record on the screen capturing software and evaluates your work. So basically giving you one-to-one -one feedback. You see all of the mouse movements and any parameter changes made by your tutor. It's kind of like sitting in the studio over their shoulder watching what they're doing whilst they work. We have found the DVR process has truly revolutionized the way that we teach online and the results speak for themselves. Book your place on the course now by visiting pointblankonline.net.